Welcome to the new training course on how to create a course. Today we'll be looking at the overview of creating a course and how we do the details will come in later videos. In our example here, we've got an existing course and we'll be looking at that in more detail in a moment. But as an example, we'll be creating course two and using the control over here with this little arrow, we'll go to the section that says course and a new block will actually be created to the right of our existing course and we'll be just looking at putting an image in here and making it look nice so here I've pre-selected pre-made a uh, image called image 2 very appropriate and then save that and you'll see that a new block comes up at the moment it call is called new course but when we go into it we are able then to change the name of the course and to look at all the attributes within the course here we've actually got the new course created the little pencil is always an indication of editing if you don't have editing rights then we need to give you editing rights to be able to create courses if we click on that, it gives us the ability to look at the attributes of the course and to change the course name itself. So let's call this one Course 2 and let's save that. And it also gives us a default page and we can maybe call that one Introduction. Right, now we've actually created our new course and we, we are now able to go and customize it in exactly this, the way we want. In order to give us an understanding of an existing one that's been created, let's go to our um, other course, the course uh, over here. But before we do that, let's just have a look to see if we wanted to reorganize it it's just a matter of dragging it into the correct place where we want and now let's go into this particular course that we that has already been created we're going to go through various sections during this training first of all looking in more detail as to how to create a course how the settings that are involved with that and then various types of pages and content that are involved with that, which is called pages, questions, there's also sub-courses and a special type of course called an HTML5 course, and how to export to Word and to view results. Enjoy, enjoy your viewing and I trust that this will give you a good understanding of how to uh, edit your content in Gate Mobile.